Hey, this is Martin from Latour de Plants, and I'm switching out the crankset on my commuter bike. So I'm going from a standard to a compact. This is, uh, and I'm also switching, uh, this is an FSA SLK, um, SLK carbon crankset <clears throat> that uses a Mega EXO bottom bracket. And I'll be putting in a SRAM Red GXP crankset. There's the replacement. So putting the GXP in there, I'll show you how easy it is to switch these out. So I'm going to use a ratchet. This is an 8 millimeter Allen wrench on a ratchet here. And simply loosen it up and it's a self-extracting bolt in the Mega EXO. And it just pops right off. Boom. So there it is, and the bolt stays in there. And the other side of the crank set will just slide out. I'm going to pop the chain off. And it comes out just that easy. Um, so the only other thing to do is to actually remove the bottom bracket. Let me um, show you the bottom bracket tool. All right, here's the, this is the tool, and it's designed to fit on this, on the notches on this bottom bracket. And it also fits the, uh, the SRAM uses a uh, GXP bottom bracket, and it takes the same wrench. So you can see there. Uh, this is an English threaded housing. So rather than try and remember which side of the bike goes which direction, um, look on the bottom bracket itself, on the bearings, and there's a little arrow, and it points which direction to turn it, to tighten it. There's the arrow. See if you can see that here. It says 40 to 50 newton meters, and there's an arrow pointing that direction. That means that's the direction that you go to tighten it. So I turned it the opposite direction to loosen it. This part is really important, so after the bearing comes out, you got to be sure to clean this area very well. Um, not just for smooth operation and, and to just get the grit out, but um, if there's a little grit in there, what I found is that um, the, the crank will kind of creak or squeak while I'm pedaling, which is totally annoying. And the way that I found to, to remedy that is to make sure all these contact points are clean and well greased when they go back together. Um, and that helps keep uh, the squeaks and creaks down. So I'm kind of wiping off this bottom bracket and then I've got some special uh, bicycle grease. I'm going to put a pretty liberal amount on the threads in there. And again, there's an arrow on here that indicates which direction, and it says non-drive side. That's this side. And it's just that easy. And for the replacement, Again, a good liberal coating of grease, mainly right around the contact point. So right back here, that's what I do. All right, then that slides in from the drive side. And then for these teeth here on this side, I will grease those as well. I'm also going to clean out inside here where the bolt goes. So this looks pretty good in there. 
it simply goes back on. I'm going to use the ratchet. This one is exactly the same size as the other, Mega EXO. Okay, and that's all there is to it. Um, I'll just put the chain rings on and we'll be good to go.